Nope, my hair is so wet, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> I keep trying to start this video and it's such a massive nope. Um, this feels like um, the least professional filming setup ever. I'm not making a film. I need to stop seeing this from a filmmaking perspective. It's really difficult though. What else can I go off on a tangent about? I go so badly already. I got that pierced. Just, <laughs> just in case anyone wanted to know. I wanted to talk about like feelings before my appointment. I have an appointment in two weeks. I'm kind of more anxious to go to London than I am anxious to go to the appointment. So that's probably a good thing. The last time they wrote a letter saying they recommended me for treatment. So I guess I'm not as on edge because they've decided I need treatment, which means they're not going to tell me that I'm not trans, which is like probably the biggest fear going to the gender clinic is that um, anticipation, waiting for like them to decide if you're trans. Um, I've had a lot of professionals tell me I'm not trans, so or tell me that it's still to be decided and it's, it gets so frustrating because it's like I know and it's not really somebody else's decision. I decided that I want hormones. I've been debating this since I was 17 and I'm nearly 22 now and it's just, it's so good to finally know what I want. I feel like in my last video about transition, I feel like I sounded really forced when I was saying that I wanted hormones and that I was looking forward to it, um, which made me a bit anxious watching it back. But then I also thought like, maybe I sound forced because I'm forcing myself to speak on camera. It's probably that. I mean, I think I sound forced now. This doesn't sound like natural conversation. It's good to come to a conclusion about tea. I mean, I'm looking forward to when I don't have to constantly explain my gender to strangers or new people, because I mean, when I've been on hormones for a while, I'll just be red as male and I won't have to explain it if I don't want to, because at the moment I've got to explain like nine times out of ten that I'm trans, otherwise I'm going to get misgendered or people are going to be confused and that's quite stressful. If I'm being read as male, then I won't have to do that as often, which would be good. But that's just a bonus, like, being read as male is just, like, it's a bonus to um, feeling comfortable in my body. Um, there's a siren in the background, classic Salford. I'm just going to wait for it to go, ooh, there was a bird. I have the attention span of a splee. A splee? A flea. Um, yeah, I struggled for ages trying to decide about hormones because I felt like such a big pressure to take them because I felt like the pressure was if I take them I'll be accepted and people accept me as male, society will accept me as male rather like than being like pre-hormones or no hormones it's more difficult to feel like you're being taken seriously I don't think it's necessarily more difficult to be taken seriously. Um, yeah, so I felt this massive pressure to take hormones because um, it, it's what a lot of people do. And I guess when I was younger, I didn't know that you couldn't. I thought, like, you either take hormones or you don't get any surgery, which isn't true. When I started going to the gender clinic, I kind of, I knew that you could have surgery without hormones, which was really important to know because then it became, like, my choice if I took hormones and I was making that choice for me, not making that choice to get surgery or making that choice for other people to accept me. It's been easier to come to the conclusion knowing that I'm making the choice for me. So I feel like I'm, I'm making the right decision because I want to take them to make myself feel comfortable, like, so that I can feel comfortable in my own skin and then I can, like, get on with my life and not be constantly dysphoric. And also if if it comes to it and like hormones wasn't the right decision, I can stop taking them. Um, which I think is something I didn't really process before. I'll probably make another video like after the appointment about how the appointment went. Um, so there'll probably be another video like before I get hormones. And then like there's still time after the appointment to wait for like 
to wait to be prescribed them, so this isn't like the last video pre hormones. Um it's not it's not that sentimental. I'm getting distracted by people outside now. Um I felt like I couldn't live without taking tea, but I couldn't live with taking tea. I felt like neither decision was right for me and then I felt like I didn't fit into anywhere like any kind of transition pathway and I just didn't see how my life was going to progress and now I can see the progression and I can feel it and it's just making everything so much better knowing that I'm actually progressing um which is great and yeah I think that's it um was I this ser was I serious this time it took it took a long time not a long time it took a while to um find the part of the room that was better for filming in. Um, yeah. Bye bye person on the street. Where are you going? Um, so I'll make another video maybe in a couple of weeks and thanks for watching my videos and why did I just say that? <laughs> it sounded like, oh it sounded like I'm on an advert for fuck's sake.